Iraq's Air Force has just launched strikes on ISIS positions in Fallujah, a city less than 60 kilometers from the capital, Baghdad. Iraq's Defense Ministry says that they have landed a major blow to the terror group's headquarters there. This comes as the Iraqi government sends thousands of fighters into Ambar province. 3,000 Shiite militiamen will be tasked with wresting control of Ramadi in the hands of ISIS. Uh, for more, our senior international correspondent, Nick Payton Walsh, joins me now live from Beirut. And Nick, first let's talk about Fallujah. What impact will these airstrikes have on ISIS and its grip on the city? In truth, it does sound comparatively minimal. There are reports of civilian casualties being caused uh, by those strikes, which obviously we're trying to independently confirm. But uh, obviously a move by the Defence Ministry to try uh, and sound like they're on the front foot here by using air power against Fallujah. That has long had a substantial ISIS presence in it. It is closer to Baghdad, certainly. But you would have thought, perhaps, at this stage, all focus would have been on Ramadi and hitting ISIS targets within there. What instead is happening is a gathering, as you mentioned, of Shia militia to the east of that city, 4,000 potentially now. But we are now also hearing a statement from uh, the Iraqi Prime Minister al-Abadi in which he says uh, one of the many different elements here suggests that it might be the time now to arm what he referred to as the sons of the tribes in coordination with Anbar province. Now that appears to be a call to give weapons to those Sunni tribesmen who many say obviously should be brought into the fight against ISIS, uh, who many also argue have not been provided weapons in the past and the speed and quantity they would have liked owing to the sectarian nature of those in uh, Baghdad who are Shia who hold the purse strings and the weapons and those in Anbar who are often disenfranchised and he's still trying to work out quite whether those weapons will get where they need to fast enough because it's been a fraught process in the past but there does appear at this stage today to be some bid to remove the sectarian nature potentially of the force that will be fighting back against ISIS there may be properly armed Sunnis as well as these Shia militia who are flooding in now the major concern having been that this being a Sunni area there are many Sunnis caught in Ramadi who feel trapped between Isis on one side who wish to take them back a couple of thousand years to a very backward society and brutal form of rule and then on the other side to Shia militia who have no track at all with these Sunni societies as well and consider them to be disloyal towards Baghdad and infidels in their minds so uh, a deeply troubling moment for those still stuck inside Ramadi you can see Isis's pictures of deserted streets there showing nobody actually around, but clearly tens of thousands must, be, must have been still trapped inside, Christy.